back to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today's video is going to be all about why you should not redirect customers packages or allow them to redirect their packages um, in the middle of transit and I'm gonna get into why in this video so if you don't know if you are new to this channel welcome to my channel I do a lot of different things on this channel primarily focused at empowering people through entrepreneurship I go over different e-commerce tricks and tips. Um, I go over my experience as an entrepreneur. I have an entrepreneur podcast on this platform as well. Um, and there's tons of different playlists, different tutorials, vlogs. So whatever you're interested in, I have a little bit of everything. So hopefully you find something that resonates. Also, if you are not new to this channel, if you're returning, welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate your support. Go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up, everyone. Please make sure that you are subscribed. Also, if you're interested in more like DIY, unboxing, uh, mukbang type of content be sure to subscribe to my second channel at Brittany's place that link will be down below as well but I want to talk about why you don't do not want to redirect customers packages now if you're wondering you know what is what does that mean what is a redirect so hypothetically let's say that someone places an order through your online store you use USPS the post office and the address that you ship their products out to is the address that they listed on the order Let's say a day passes, the order is already shipped out, they call you or they email your customer service um, email and they tell you that they no longer live at that address or they tell you that they prefer the package to be mailed at their work location instead of their home location or, I mean, there's a lot of different hypotheticals and different reasons why people want their address updated on an order. So let's say that happens. You do have an option to do a mail, I believe it's called intercept, where you can redirect or put in a request to redirect that package to a new address. Now, the reason that I say don't do that is for a couple different reasons um, that I'm going to go over now. The first reason is that it can disqualify you from different merchant protection. So for example, let's say that customer purchase using Klarna, buy now, pay later. Klarna has a merchant protection policy or program, if you will, and they have different outlines as to what qualifies you or disqualifies you for protection under their account. And so one of the things that disqualifies you is if you redirect or change the shipping address um, on an order. So I'll put the information here on the screen, but it's not just Klarna. There are different um, payment merchants that have that same type of clause where if you redirect one of your customers shipping addresses, it can disqualify you for that protection, which is very important because if that customer then decides to dispute the transaction, um, then you're not covered. A lot of people are hip to how to play the system, unfortunately. And so being an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you're hip on everything as well so that you can better proof your business and protect yourself. So I used to think before I started my business, you know, it's crazy that a, a company won't change my address. I remember I placed an order through Fashion Nova specifically a few years ago and I still had my business, but I wasn't really, I mean, I didn't look into redirects, you know, on packages. I never had to look into it. I never got a customer that said, hey, can you change my address to this address? I just didn't deal with it. And then I never experienced the package where, the package was shipped to an address and I wanted it shipped to another address. However, a few years ago when I placed an order, order through Fashion Nova, um, I was living down south and I didn't know that I was going to be traveling back up to, I don't know if I was going to Ohio or Michigan at that point. Anyway, I wanted my package to be where I was going. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I just placed the order last night. I'm going to see if they can change the address to the Michigan or Ohio address, wherever I'm gonna be at in a few days. That way when I'm there, I can pick up my package. I reached out to them and they said, no, we don't do that. And I thought that was so crazy. I'm like, why not? Why can't you just switch the address? The package hasn't been delivered yet. Um, I didn't know if it was sent out yet or not, but I didn't understand the thought behind that until looking into different merchant protections and realizing that a company's taking a risk if they do that. So another point, I'm looking at my notes here, but another point that I want to mention as well is if a customer is like, dang, I put my old address down instead of my new address and they haven't set up their mail forwarding, um, they can, you can allow the shipping carrier to take the item to their local post office where your customer can then go there and pick up the package. Um, that's not necessarily as convenient for them 
But like I said, there is a chance that you're going to, not even a chance, it, you put yourself outside of that scope of assistance by changing, okay? Also, there could be additional fees to the order. So whether you initiate doing the USPS intercept, and I'm just using the post office USPS as an example, I'm sure other carriers have, you know, options to redirect packages as well. But consider the additional fees too, you know, just like when you're considering your shipping policies, there are a lot of people that want to have to have their customers get their packages ASAP, which I completely understand, but they did not take into account the overnight shipping fees and the risk with that as well. And so some websites have it structured where you can't, your customer can select overnight shipping and they pay for the fees so that, you know, your company isn't paying extra to have packages overnighted. And then some companies don't have you pay extra. They just send it out automatically and they take a loss on the shipping. However you have it structured, you wanna make sure that it works for you. What is going to work best for your business? Because you wanna take into consideration the additional fees that you may incur with everything that you do in your business. Because there are so many business owners that have good business, good clientele, but because they did not structure their pricing correctly, because they did not structure the financial portion of their business, they're not really growing in business as they should be. So it's very important to assess the fees. How much is it going to cost if I do do this intercept, um, if I do reroute, the, reroute this package, if I send my customers an invoice, are they going to pay for them? Some would say yes, but again, it's still a very risky option to even offer. Another reason why I say you don't want to even offer the address change or an address, you know, a package to be re redirected to another address is that a lot of times the mail intercept, changing the address in the middle of an order, it's not guaranteed. So you can change it. And then there's always like these terms and conditions. I don't want to say always, but a lot of times there are these terms and conditions where it, it states that you may not, um, that this address may not actually go through. Like the, the mail may still get delivered to the original address. And at that point, if you let your customers know, hey, this intercept went through, let's say your customer paid you for the address redirect. And for some reason, the package still got delivered to the other address. Who is that customer going to be more upset with? Y your guess is right. You know, who are they going to be more disappointed with versus you saying up front, this is something I don't offer. So instead of going through that rabbit hole of this is what I can do and thinking that you're helping and then something going wrong in the process or the process going as it, it should go, but there is always a chance that, you know, there's still that chance that the package may not get redirected. So it's really important to look into the clauses of all of the payment merchants that you're using. Make sure that it works well for your business. Make sure that it works well for what you're doing. What works well for some will not work for all. And um, make sure that you're protecting your business at all costs. I really hope that this video helped. I didn't want it to be too long in length. I just wanted to give you some tips and some um, advice on why you should not offer redirects. If you are interested or intercepts, if you are interested in additional business content, be sure to check out my business playlist. Also subscribe to my email mailing list at keepingupwithbrittany.com. I do send out tips via my newsletters. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.